I am Mani Bikoli, uh, the writer of the Fashionist State of Security. Um, I'm also a multimedia journalist and I'd like to make films one day. Okay. Yeah. A little bit about the book is yeah. that uh, it started out as just a... Um, I never thought that I'd, I'd get the short stories together um, and just put them together and self-publish them. I uh, started as a self-publishing um, endeavor and then moved on to the second phase, which is in now, um, being picked up by Pan Macmillan, uh, which, in which I added six more stories. Well, I mean, I think they all came together because at the time that I was writing them, I was in um, a psychiatric clinic. I, most, I wrote most of the stories while I was in there. Um, and also while I was there, I sort of realized that I, I, I get really, really sort of impatient with waiting to hear back from publishers, to publish a short story, and like all, all things like that. And I think short story forms um, go missing quite often. So uh, as I came out of, the, out, out of the clinic, I decided like, actually I'm gonna put this all together, take some money, and just invest in it because um, I felt like my I wasn't realizing my dream of authorship and I thought what better way than to take all these stories that I've already got and like, sort of make this what became multidisciplinary anthology. I think for me what's so interesting about Alexander is that it, it, it sort of deals with um, different social the different social scales of like black lives but also then it's still very gendered um, and at the same time, it's sort of still rooted in you know the reality of like the the governing economic system, which is essentially capitalism. So like it's I think it's such an interesting sort of space, and especially like um, in a time. And I wrote this before, but like Men of Trash has become so much more um, um, visible. Um, and and may so like I think more in the in the, the year, last year or so, but I mean it was gaining steam prior to that. I think it was such an interesting conversation to have between uh, you know a black couple who rarely confront politics head on um, in terms of actually um, bringing them back into their reality. I think uh, a lot of the time we speak about politics but in, in abstract ways you know um, we talk about you know when Fanon said this when Angela Davis said that when you know um, and then we point that out as a situation there but we very rarely pull ourselves into that situation and say this is what's happening between you and I right now so I think Alexander was like a, a, a cool vehicle for that but I do think there's um, a particular um, opportunism that's going on at the moment uh, I remember having like, speaking with a friend, uh, and she and I told her that I was working on something, and she immediately became cynical and she just looked at me and she's like, "Oh, everybody is a novelist now. Everybody's a writer, you know." And it was like when she said that, like I was like, "Ah, okay, like, but I mean it." But then I like I listened to her like break down a couple of names of like who's trying to write fiction now, who's suddenly a novelist, and all of this stuff. And so when you say the literati, it makes absolute sense, you know? And I don't know how much investment there has been on their part, because outside of, you know, books that are in vogue that, like, was supposed to be speaking about from, like, you know, the great or, you know, uh, establishing um, African um, authors that we know of, I mean, those are, those are really cool things to wrestle off the top of their head. But does that mean now everybody's got a, a, a story in them that they need to tell through fiction? Fiction is a discipline in its own. Um, it's its own discipline within the literary sphere. So just because it looks cool doesn't mean you have to do it. Sometimes like we also need to figure out like where's our place, you know, and what do we choose to support? You know, and sometimes it's okay just to support something. You don't have to be a part of it to support it. In fact, your support probably makes you an even greater part of it and not like a hindrance to like people who actually want to do work and, and rather than like, you know, um, blog on a mass scale to be consumed in paper. <laughs>